You know sometimes when you take photos and then the angle is so horrible, then you end up looking like like this, huh? you have no neck, right? But what if I told you that I found an animal that has no neck to begin with? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello! So, in our forests and parks, we actually have a creature that has no neck. And it's actually a creature that most people don't know that is pretty common. And it's none other than this cutie pie, the common sun skink, or also known as the many-lined sun skink. Okay, so clearly skinks are lizards, right? But if you compare them with all the other lizards that are featured on this channel, you can see that they really don't have a neck. And that's a feature of skinks. They look like snakes with legs, which we will get to in a moment. But yeah, so skinks are a whole family of lizards on their own. And in Singapore, we actually have eight skink species, including this very rare Singapore swamp skink, which can only be found in the wild in Singapore and in some restricted areas in peninsular Malaysia. But yeah, so among the eight species here in Singapore, the most common one is the many-lined sun skink, which you can mostly find on the ground amongst the leaf litter in almost all of our forests and wooded areas and mangroves and parks. So yeah, they really are quite common. But if you have never seen them before in your whole life, don't worry, it's not you, it's them. Because they are super shy and skittish and they will like run away and hide whenever they sense any sort of like sudden movements. But if you walk really slowly in our parks in the daytime, you might be able to spot one of them sunbathing or looking for food. And obviously you can recognise them by, you know, seeing that they have no necks. But you can also look out for their beautiful, bronzy and iridescent colour. However, as its name suggests, the many line sun skink does come in many variations of lines. Right? Some have an orange band on the side, while some have a black band on the side, and some have black stripes on the back. But they're all still the same species, so don't start scratching your head in confusion on whether that's the right species or not that you're looking at. Huh? Although, skinks do really have a history of making scientists scratch their head, right? Because remember just now when I said skinks look like snakes? Well, some skink species have actually evolved to lose their limbs and it's most likely to suit a niche better. And that niche is that without limbs, you can more easily tunnel into drier ground with less obstructions and that has indeed happened to many skinks that are spread out all around the world. And you know that they are skinks and not snakes because of, you know, quite a few physiological traits. But, okay, so here's the head-scratching part, right? Because some scientists have actually discovered that a genus of legless skinks in the Philippines are starting to regrow their limbs, which just means that they are reversing their own evolution by growing out these short stumps. And it's really stumping the scientists because it was initially believed that once you lose a complex structure like that of a limb, that genetic code is gone, right? You cannot reverse something that is gone, disappeared from your genetic code. Like how come the, like how come the gene for the legs can disappear and then suddenly appear back into your DNA again? But okay, yes, it is indeed going to take a few millions of years before this reversion takes full effect. But this discovery with skinks, it's really like flipping the whole evolution theory around or at least refining it. Which goes to show that even now, in 2023, there will always be something to learn and uncover, even in nature. And although it wasn't the many-lined sun skink in Singapore that, you know, the scientists made this bizarre discovery from, but who knows how our own eight Singapore skink species may turn out with time. And all I can hope is that YouTube, right, and all of these skink content, it can survive long enough so that our future generations can make that discovery on their own. But yeah, we have now come to the end of today's episode. But before we leave, we would like to give a big shout out to our patrons. 
Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, spot match. You know, no, 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 no. England, Hitcher, Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Nana, Nana, Selma, Jelly, Jets, Kappa, A5, Pingo, Master, Jablock, Tango, Amadillo, Nico, Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kyung, Fauzi, Rayla, No, Cooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Fish, Circles, Amy, Amy, Stacy, Lu, Quack, Quack, Mama, and Momo, YouTube.com slash at additional math and Pixel Plucker. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. And once again, thanks again for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out there. And who knows, maybe one day you will find a skink, one of our skinks, that have limbs growing out like, just like that. Mm. <laughs>